everyone welcome back to everything cashly my name is Ashley and today we are going to do a early slash mid August garden update um, this will be the first garden update I have done in August so there's a lot that has changed I'll start with my gutter garden edition first and there's nothing planted in here I just hung these up um, maybe a week ago and all I've done is put some compost in here and peat moss and mixed it up and just been watering it so that dirt stays healthy but I do need to sow something or even transplant some stuff soon this is the I call it the planter garden the tall planter garden we have an okra right here it's so cute and a little baby okra there um, there were Cherokee wax beans they didn't come up. I think I didn't water them enough to germinate. And then one tender bean came up. And then there was, uh, we had a big tomato plant here and some little peppers, but I pulled them out because the tomato was sick and I harvested those two, three tomatoes that were on it. And here we have summer squash. So I planted this y'all on July 13th and look how big it is. It's huge. It looks really sad because it's 99 degrees outside, but we have flowers already. And on this other side, you can see a little squash and I hope it gets uh, pollinated because I would be so excited. And we have the tomato plant is doing well this one as well they both are this little pepper plant i transplanted that and it it basically died like it's not going anywhere i did a second summer harvest so these are bush beans i have cherokee wax beans and a few under these big leaves uh tender at beans so they're pretty small and then right here sorry about my camera moving right here it's a kohlrabi I sowed three, but only one came up. So I'm hoping that I can keep this little thing alive. And finally, the more established side of the garden. So here's a little cucumber. It is starting to get sick. You can see those spots. This cucumber is definitely ready to be harvested. I'll get that in the morning. Um, and there is still new growth on here. But I think that's the only one that I see on this plant so far. There is some kind of worm, probably a hornworm, that I can't find um, that is eating this pepper plant. I think it's starting to get my other plant as well. And we're just starting to get some buds on the sweet pepper. So this is so sad. <laughs> Look at this. And I've come out with a black light and four hunting worms and bean leaf roller worms. I have, um, I've come out during the day. I've come out, um, at night with the black light and I cannot find that worm. I can't figure out what is eating it, but I know something's here. So hopefully I find it one day. <laughs> before all my plants are gone. Okay, continuing on. This is, what is this called? The pole beans. They have really grown and taken off, but I still only see white flowers. I don't see any beans yet. And I've been trying, I tried to make it go anywhere but down. So that's why I put those there. And I do want to try to keep the squash up off the ground. So I'll tie that up. So there's that Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. There's another one in the back that's turning. And this cucumber plant. There's actually two down here. There and there. Um, some, the bottom leaves are definitely getting sick, which I need to take off. I need to cut them. We have, where did it go? Um, we have little, there we go, little cucumbers coming out everywhere on this thing. And then there's another one back here. They're so cute. I am so excited. I am going to save seeds 
from this Boston Pickling Cucumber, which is why I have left it on so long and it's turning yellow. I have a fish pepper and the same thing's happening, y'all. There is something eating it and I have hunted these worms and can't find them. But I pulled out a Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato here and I just leaned this one over because it didn't have support, but there's a few cherry tomatoes on there. And what is happening, because it's so hot here, like, y'all, it is 520, and it's, it's now 100 degrees. And I'm like, I'm sweating <laughs> so much. But I wanted to come out because it's the afternoon and do my garden update. So what's happening here is that we're getting blossoms. Like, I'm getting tomato blossoms. These may be faciated, but whatever and they're all dropping or none of them are pollinating. So I'm just trying to keep these as healthy and alive as possible so I can hopefully get tomatoes. And I just don't know if that's gonna happen. Here's a Brad's Atomic Grape tomato because these tomatoes that um, are here, they pollinated in mid-June, probably mid-June because they're little, and I haven't gotten any since, so look how cute that cucumber is. There's another cute one. So I'm just waiting. Hopefully I'll get more tomatoes, but that's why I put that second um, transplant of these tomatoes over here. Of those two, so hopefully they'll grow later, like in October, September, October, I'll get some flowers that pollinate. The last thing over here, I don't think I touched on this yet. Um, these are lemon cucumbers, and I said those a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, and they're doing okay. I think I need to keep watering them more, but um, I'll do that. I'll keep watering my plants, and that is that um, six foot sunflower I planted. Look how sad these leaves are. It's just because it's so hot. From the beginning of this video to right now, it went from 99 degrees to 100. I'll just do a quick update on the trees, our fruit trees. So we have this lemon tree and it finally has new growth, y'all. There's even some growth down here we'll have to prune eventually. But there's new flowers and lemons. Whoops, I just knocked that down. But new growth is great. So. Yay! It was like a few, everything's a few weeks ago at this point. Um, their birds got into the fruit trees and I'll show you the damage that they did. So here's our orange tree. It's a satsuma, satsuma. I have no idea how to say this, but look, you can see that. There's a little one there. So anywhere where they got into it, there's definitely like a damage. Some of them are still fine. Like this one is great. There's some in here. Sad, these are not, these are not okay. Um, but I can't tell, I really, you know, I don't know much about orange trees or citrus trees in general, but they are starting to change colors and I don't know if that's because there was damage to them or if it's the time of year that they're supposed to turn. I need to do some research. And then finally, we have the grapefruit tree. And it doesn't have as much damage. Here's a few, they're huge, like, I don't know. It's definitely bigger than a baseball, but smaller than a softball. So there's some damage there. That one's really pretty, just small. It's like a tennis ball size. Those I know don't get done or don't ripen until September or October. And lastly, we have the lime tree. There were flowers on it and again it's just so hot here that they're falling off but I'm hoping that this keeps growing and producing uh, flowers that way in the fall if, if they produce in the fall we get something we get some limes which would be great. So what some of our goals or at least one of our goals is to not have to buy lemons, limes, oranges, or grapefruit for part of the season at the grocery store along with our vegetables so anything that we're growing at home 
that's our goal to just not buy vegetables or fruits at the store and eat what we grow but these are all really young trees so that may not be realistic for a few years but hopefully in like five ten years we um we, we can do that and we won't have to purchase like one lime to cook a recipe or one lemon and we just come to the backyard and harvest it and use it so that's a goal that we want to have okay so i'm gonna quit saying so <laughs> we're inside now and these are my indoor fall starts that i'm growing from seed and they are doing so well so we have blue curled Scotch kale. Look, they look so good. Um, I need to I need to put them a pot them. Um, but we have a noble giant spinach. There's a little, three little starts. And what is this? He, she, co, bunching onion. I don't know if I said that right, but we have some bunching onion. And these are Swiss chard. And then Texas early, mm, I don't know, onion. I don't know if I spelled that out or if that's an abbreviation. But there they are. So I definitely need to up pot them this week. Okay, well, thank y'all for watching and hanging out with me on my August garden update. And I hope to see you next time.